presentations from the students. Varda and Shraddha, you can begin with your presentations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you see the screen? Yes, uh, we can see the screen. Good morning, everyone. This is Varda. And today we will be dealing with the topic of quick sort. So here's what we are going to do. I will be doing just a short introduction to this topic and the basic idea behind this topic and the applications of this topic uh, that is explaining with the help of examples and with respect to algorithms that will be done by Shraddha. So this is going to be very brief. Uh, it is basically a revision of what we have learned in second semester, I would say. So let us start. What is sorting? Sorting in general means that we are arranging a certain group of elements or entities in an ordered sequence or in a proper arrangement. It is not that it can be only in computer science. It is the general meaning of sorting. And sorting can be done in increasing or in ascending manner or in decreasing or in descending manner. And when it comes to sorting, there are many types, right? Merge sort, quick sort, selection sort, and there are subcategories in sort in that sorting uh, sorting type two but right now we are just concerned with quick sort and uh, our interest right now here only is with quick sort as per the presentation and syllabus so what exactly is quick sort let us say there are five people in a room and they are all of different types and say that i am going to go into that room and I'm going to tell them how they have to stand in the increasing order of their height. That is case one. And the second case is that I do not need to go into the room and they already know that they have to arrange themselves in increasing order of their height. They will do it looking at each other's height. They will arrange themselves in increasing order of their height. The shortest person will uh, you know, stand at the front and the tallest will stand at the back. So it will be quicker and faster if I don't tell them how to do it and they will do it by themselves. That is the basic idea or basic concept behind quicksort. The idea of quicksort is that if there is an element X in the array, then the elements in left half should be smaller than X and element in right half should be greater than X. So let us take an example over here. Can someone tell me which is the sorted element in the first array? Can someone tell me? OK, so the sorted ele element in the first array is 10. Now, if you look at the indices above the arrays I have placed there, the 10 is the smallest among all the elements in that array. So that is going to be at the first place. In, and in the next array, can someone tell me now? Which is the sorted element? 90. 90. Next, uh, I don't mean in the same array. Next one. Ten. Yes. Because 10 is the largest number and that is at the last. So that is the sorted element. And in the last one. Which is the Four. sorted element? It's four. Right, four. 
so here's uh, one thing that is common in all these examples is that the elements that are left to the uh, sorted element are all smaller than that element and elements that are right to the uh, right to that element are all greater than that element if the element uh, if we if we take an element x and if we say that the elements before that ele particular element x are smaller and elements after that particular element x are greater than that element then we say that it is sorted that is the basic idea of quick sort it has to be quick that is how it is now the remaining examples will be explained by shraddha sir yes shraddha sir i will turn on my video and i will explain the tracing part yes you can do Are you ready, Shraddha, with the equipments? Sir, I'm unable to turn on the video. On the left side, bottom left, there is a video. No, if you try to have tap on that, what's happening? Yes, sir, but I'm not getting it. Means it is not enabling. Okay. Um. So you can just enable that option. Sir. Yeah, just enable the present uh, option for her. She is unable, sir. She has that option. She should stop presenting and then try to turn on that video. Okay. Stop presenting, Shraddha. Don't present anything. Stop sharing your screen. Shraddha, listen first. Stop sharing your screen. Sir, I'm not getting the option. Where is that, sir? Click on stop. That. Click on stop presenting. White color. No, no. Don't go to the options. Yeah, yeah click on stop presenting. There itself. Yes. Sorry, everyone. It's okay. Yeah. Now you can turn on the video. Is the screen visible? Yes. Hello, you everyone. For 90 angles, anti clockwise. Sir, actually, I have tried to put it like this. No, uh, but the thing is, we are able to see it in a uh, 90 angle degree, so we are not able to see it properly. Now it is fine. Yes. No, sir. 
Yes, perfect. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shraddha. I hope you all are safe. Now let's begin with the example. Now, uh, as my partner Varda has said that it works. The quick sort is a sorting algorithm, and uh, it, ba it it basically works on a divide and conquer uh, method. As we know that uh, know that how divide and conquer works. If this is the our uh, n that is the data. And if if that is too big, and we will we will we will divide it into two halves, and we'll get a midpoint here. And the two subparts will be, uh, and it will be like yeah, it is the n, and the two subparts will be n by two, n by two. Again, it will be divided into n by four, n by four, and we'll get the solution of those subparts, and we'll conquer it. That is how divide and conquer works. Now, let's see. Uh, it is a partition based means it divides the problem that's what i have told you just now but how it divides that is important we know that if uh, anybody can say like what is the output of this array this is an array that is 35 50 15 25 80 20 90 and 45 and here it is a plus infinity i will say why this plus infinity is important now, Shanda, any, uh, yes sir just a second the numbers are not visible in your video. Can you just little move above that camera can need to be little focused? No, not the rotation, not the rotation. Uh, OK, now it is now the numbers are visible. OK, sir. Thank you. Now uh, I have I, what I'm telling is anybody can tell the output of this. We can just sort and we can say that we will we'll find the output. But the uh, what this algorithm says that how the quick sorts or the how the sorting algorithm actually works. Now see how it works. In any kind of sorting technique, we will not ask what is the output, but instead we ask how it works. That is what I told you. No? Now the 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 main concept means the quick sort. It works mainly on a time complexity. Means we are concentrating on time complexity. That is, we know that it could be a best case, average case, and a worst case. Means uh, we have already learned that our sir had taught us. And uh, the main the one more main thing is that uh, rec recursion. If we know the recursion, then only we can find the time complexity of the algorithm. Now let's see how it works without any further delay. Uh, can you see the this array? Is it clear, visible? It is visibly visibility is there. Yes, it is yes. visible. Okay. Uh, now we can take the first element would be uh, means we'll uh, we'll take the first element as pivot element. You may ask that what is the pivot? Means the whole concept, this quick sort whole concept works basically on a pivot element. I will tell you why. Now you can take any of the number from this as a pivot element, but I am taking as 35. That is 35 element, 35 element as a pivot. Now this is a symbol. Means I have written C here. It is a pivot. It could be C like this. And the further elements, as we know that 35, 50, 15, 25, 80, 20, 90, 45, plus infinity. You may ask that. You may wonder why this plus infinity is needed. See, if we'll take the one more array, this, this one. You may ask that. Why this plus infinity is ne needed? Now, I will, uh, first I will tell that why this P and Q are needed here. P and Q, both these are the pointers. We, you may ask why pointers are needed. What pointer P will do? Pointer P will move towards RHS one by one, and it will stop when it will find the element greater than or equal to the pivot element. Understanding? See, here it is P. P is now 50. It will check whether 50 is greater than or equal to pivot element. No, yes, means it will stop here only. What Q is trying to do? Yes, sir. Uh, the numbers again are cropping. Can you just little focus more on the numbers? Yeah, is it happening with me or some uh, with everybody also? 
for me the numbers are clear sir okay here now at this phase i don't see any numbers it is all chopped up on the above side sir now no it's visible sir okay continue then okay, sir now we have two pointers that is p and q what p will do p will increment towards rhs side and it will check whether the element is greater than or equal to the pivot element if it finds the element which is greater than or equal to the 30 35 that is pivot element it will stop there only it will not increment again what q is trying to do q will check for the element which is less than or equal to the pivot element there it will stop are you getting friends hello yes yes yeah what we are, what q is doing here q is q will decrement towards lhs side and q will stop there where it finds the element less than or equal to the th that is pivot element now you may say that why this plus infinity is needed let's take one example see this one we have one array that is 35 5 4 3 2 and 1 this plus infinity is because we can say that 35 is the pivot element and 5 is the pointer p and last one will take it as a q now what is happening here uh, p will check whether p that is 5 is greater than or equal to 35 no it will increment it will check whether 4 is greater than or equal to 35 no 3 is greater than or equal to 35 no 2 is greater than or equal to 35 no 1 is greater than or equal to 35 no it will it 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 has not find any of the value as a greater than or equal to 35 in this array so at least as the plus infinity point it will stop understanding yes yeah see ha huh? means a plus infinity is because if we don't find any element in the rhs side which are greater than or equal to the pivot element at least to stop that pivot incrementation sorry the pointer incrementation p we should put the plus infinity sign and you may ask that why we should not put the minus infinity here you may ask but what is that if q is decrementing in the lhs side i have already told you q will decrement in lhs side till it finds the element less than or equal to the pivot element now what q will do q is initially one it will check whether one is less than or equal to 35 no two is greater than or equal to 35 no three is greater than or equal to 35 no four is greater than or equal to 35 no five is greater than or equal to 35 no but at least at the A pivot element now q will come here no it will it is decremented and q is now here but at least at, at the uh, pivot element it will stop because 35 is less than or equal to 35 yes it will stop so we no no need to write the minus infinity sign here getting shada i have a question here yes sir yes yeah. uh, now just now you said that q yes. is less than or equal to 35 or not two is less than or equal to 35 or not and yes. yes one is the for the first time q value is pointing at one and one is yes. less than 35 it is true itself no and you were telling something as a no no uh, yes. my understanding is yes, yes sir uh, means uh, sir sorry uh, means if we, if the array array is different means uh, if we take this array it could be anything any array means if we yeah. don't find any element then we, we, uh, we don't need to put minus infinity here so in this with this particular values this set of values uh, yes. negative infinity is not appropriate uh, it no. may be required for some other it it may basically it is not required but that negative min, uh, infinity what you said with respect to this example doesn't suits because yes, what the pointer which is pointing at q that is 1 is less than 35 it is true itself yes sir it is true i'm sorry sir yeah okay okay we'll move towards the our main array that is this one 
Now let's see how it works. Let's take an one unsorted array. This is unsorted array. As you can see, the 35, 50, 15, 25, 80, 20, 19, 45. Now you can take any two pointers. That is P and Q. It is not necessary that you should you should take P and Q only. You can you may take X, Y, Z, whichever you want. But I have initially taken it as a P and Q. Now P is pointing towards the next element of the pivot element. That is. 50 and q is a q pointer is at, at the last element that is 45. Now let's see how it works. Now I have already told you that it works on a divide and conquer technology means the concept. Now what p will p will p is doing here p will move from the RHS side to RHS side. RHS, RH, sorry, RHS side and Q is decrementing towards the latest side. So what P and Q are doing is, it, what P is doing is P, P is trying to put the elements which are greater than 35 in the right hand side and Q is trying to put the elements which are less than 35 in the left hand side. 35 is a pivot element. The main concept of this is the 35 that is pivot element should come in between in middle after the first pass. Are you getting? Hello. Yes. Okay. Now what P is here? What P will do? P will check whether the 50 is greater than or equal to 35. Yes, P is. 50, 50 is greater than or equal to 35. No, P will stop here only. It will not to move towards the RHS. And now Q will check. Q will check. 45 is less than or equal to 35. No, it will move. It will come here. It will check whether 90 is less than or equal to 35. No, it will come here. It will check whether 20 is less than or equal to 35. Yes. No, Q will Q has arrived into this position that is 20th element. Now we will erase this element that is 45. Now P and Q. Basically what happens is when uh, first pass has uh, uh, over means when P has incremented and Q has decremented. Now what have to do if P and Q are not crossed in between then we have to swap P and Q both the numbers. Understanding if P and Q are not crossed while decrementing or incrementing, we should swap P and Q. Now we can see that P is here, Q is here. They have not crossed in between anywhere. So what we have to do? P and Q we have to change. That is, we should swap. Sure. Hello. Numbers, yes. The numbers were not visible. Okay. Uh, now it is visible. Yes. Oh, now what will happen? Uh, we should swap the P and Q elements. That is, now we have 35, that is pivot element, that is fixed here. Now, what is the Q element? That is 20, we should add here. 20, 15, 25, 80, 80 and here it is 50. 90, 45 and less infinity. Understanding how why we have swapped this P and Q? Am yes. I audible? Yes. Okay. Now 35 is the pivot element. We know that. Now this is the pivot element. Now P is here only. It has not moved further. Now Q is here. Q is pointing at the fifth. Uh, uh, yeah, Q is here. Now what P will do? P will check whether this 20 element, 20 is greater than or equal to 35. No, it will move further. It will check whether 15 is greater than or equal to 35. No, it will move. It will check whether 25 is greater than or equal to 35. No, it will move. It will check whether 80 is greater than or equal to 35. Yes. Now it will stop here. Now P is initially here. P will come here. Getting. Now, 
what q is trying to do it, it is checking for the less than or equal to huh? no 50 it will check whether 50 is less than or equal to 35 no 80 it will it it has come here it will check whether 80 is less than or equal to 35 no it will come here and it will stop here q will stop here because 25 is less than or equal to 35 all, all, all are you agree are you agree with this point yes yes now what happened in between while incrementing and decrementing p and q are crossed in between it means they are interchanged can you see here p was here it has come here q was here it has come here means they have interchanged in between while decrementing and incrementing in this point what you have to do they have crossed i have already told you if they have not crossed we should swap p and q both the numbers if uh, you uh, now they have not uh, they have crossed here if they have not crossed it, then we have to swap but the thing is that p and q are now crossed in between what we have to do in place of q we should put the pivot element that's all are you getting now what will be the array now uh, 25 20 15 35 80 50 90 45 and this is plus infinity are you getting why i why i have uh, swapped this pivot element and qth element in place of q if they have crossed p and q are crossed in between while incrementing and decrementing at the qth position we should put the pivot element are you getting yes okay. now we can see that this is the divide and con concord uh, concept after the first pass this is the first pass we can say first pass after the first pass the pivot element has arrived into the middle position means uh, we can uh, what you divide and conquer uh, says it will divide the array into two subarrays and it will find the solution for that and it will conquer now what has happened the uh, the elements which are less than 35 are arrived into lhs side can you see 25 20 15 they are less than 35 yes Hello. Yes. Okay. Now the 80, 50, 90, and 45. These elements are greater than 35. Yes. Okay. Then what we have done, I have already told you. The P pointer is trying to put the elements which are greater than 35 in the right hand side. And what Q pointer is doing? Q pointer is trying to put the elements which are less than 35 in the uh, left hand side. That is what now it has become. Now, what are the sub arrays? This 35 is fixed because it is a uh, means it is a midpoint now. Now, what are those two sub arrays now? These, these are su the sub arrays are 25, 20, and 15. You can say that, see that here. This, this is the sub array, and this is the sub array. Understanding? Yes. Hello? Okay. Now, now we have two subarrays. That is 25, 20, and 15. One uh, subarray. Hence, the second subarray is that 80, 50, 90, and 45. Now, what now, what we will do now? We know that after the last element, we should have the plus infinity. I have written. And here also, after the 45, we should write the plus infinity. Now we'll check. Uh, this, is, this is the first subarray. We will solve this first and we'll go to the next subarray. Now, 25 is the pivot element. I have already told you I have I am taking the first element as the pivot element. Now 25 is the pivot element. Now this 20 is the pointer P and this Q is the pointer Q. 
means P is pointing towards the 20 element and Q is uh, pointing towards the 15 element. Understanding why I have taken like this? The same procedure that we, are, that we have solved here, the same we should be, we should apply to this subarray also. Are you getting? Yes. These numbers are visible or they are blur? Visible. visible. Okay. Now the pivot element is 25. The uh, now the we have two pointers. I have already told you. Now P P will check whether the element is greater than or equal to the pivot element. It will check whether 20 is greater than or equal to pivot element. Yes. Can you say whether 20 is greater than or equal to 25? That is pivot element. No. What? What is the answer? Whether 20 is greater than or equal to the pivot element? No. Anybody? No. 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 If what if no? If no, then we, the P should increment, right? No. P will increment. P will become 15. Now it will check whether 15 is greater than or equal to 35. No, it will increment again. At the plus infinity point, the P will stop. Are you getting? No, plus infinity point, it will stop and then P will come here. Are you getting my point? No, what Q is doing? Q will you is checking for the less than or equal to. It will check whether 15 is less than or equal to 25. Yes, Q is less than or equal to 25. It will stop it here and there only. It will not move towards the LHS. So what has become? P and Q are crossed in between while decrementing and incrementing. Yes, is it? Are you getting my point? Yes. Yes, then what we have to do that time at the cute element that is 15, we should be we are interchanging it with the we are swapping it with the pivot element. So what what it the array will be at the pivot element we are writing 15, 20 will be here only. And at the cute position that is 15th element position, we are putting the pivot element. Are you getting everyone? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. 35, that is the mid element is here only. We are not doing anything with it. Are you, are you, are you all are agreeing with this point? Yeah. 35, this 35, we are adding it here. Yes. Now, we have a second array. What we are doing here, we, we will take let's that 80, that is first element as a pivot element. And next is the pointer P. And the last element will take it as the 45, that is pointer Q. The pointer P is moving, uh, means pointing towards 50th element. And the Q is pointing towards the last element, that is 45. What now P, P will do in this array? P will check whether 50, that is 50 is greater than or equal to 80. Yes. Can you tell the answer? Whether P is greater than or equal to no. the pivot element? No. Then what no. it should do? It, it will increment. Are you getting? It will increment towards the RHS side. No. Uh, P will become 90. Are you getting? No. P, that is 90th element, is greater than or equal to 80? This one. Can I get the answer? Yes. Yes, now what will happen? P will stop here only, it will not move towards them. Now what Q is Q will do? You, P has stopped it. Now Q, what Q will do is Q will check whether the 45 element is less than or equal to 80. What, what, will be, what is your answer? 45 is less than or equal to the pivot element? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Then Q will not decrement towards LHS, then it will stop there only. Is what has happened now P and Q they are crossed in between while decrementing or incrementing P and Q are crossed in between 
Can I get the answer? No. No. If no, then what we have to do? We should swap P and Q. That's all. P and Q are not crossed in between while incrementing and decrementing. Then we should swap P and Q. If they have crossed, then only at the Qth position we have to put the pivot element. I have told you. Now what will what will be the array? Eighty, fifty, forty-five, ninety. Am I right here? Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. No. Eighty is the pivot element. It it is fixed. Now what we have to do? P is here. Q is here in the first. Uh, Oh, I mean, so in the first part that we have seen here, so I have told you after uh, 90th element there will be the plus infinity. Sorry, I I don't have page here, so I am writing in a table. You can see this plus infinity. Yes. Okay. Uh, now what will happen? Pivot is 80. It, uh, we should not consider that pivot. Then we will come to the pointer. Two pointer that is P and Q. P will check whether the 45, 45, uh, the 45 is greater than or equal to 80. Can I get the answer? 45 is greater than or equal to 80? No. 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 Then what it will do? It will increment to, to further. Now it will increment. The P will become 90 here. Understanding? P will come here. Now P uh, the ninety ninety is uh, greater than or equal to eighty. Yes. Yes. Then it will stop here only. Get are you getting this? P will stop there. Now what what is happening? Now Q is moving towards the LHS part. Now Q will check whether ninety is greater uh, sorry less than or equal to eighty. Can I get the answer? Whether ninety that is Q. No, P and Q both are pointing on the same element that is ninety. All are agree with this? Yes. Yes. No, it will check whether ninety that is Q is is less than or equal to eighty. No. No. Then what is? What it will do? Q will decrement. Q will come here. So it will check whether forty-five is less than or equal to eighty. Can I get the answer? Yes. Yes. No. No. What happens? What happens? It will stop there. If it finds the element which which it wants, then it will stop there only. No. Q is here. P is here. Are you all are agree with this? Yes. Now, what happened? Q and P are interchanged in between while incrementing and decrementing. Yes. 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 Now, what I have told you: if P and Q are crossed in between or interchanged in between while incrementing and decrementing. The item at the Q, uh, the Q pointer should be replaced with the pivot element. I have told you once again. I will tell you if P and Q both the pointers are interchanged or crossed in between while incrementing or decrementing at the Q element, we should put the pivot element. So what the array will be now? Forty five, fifty, eighty, ninety. All are you agree with this? Are you getting this? How it has arrived, friends? Can I get yes. the answer? Yes. yes. No. What yes. will be the final array? Can you see here? Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty, eighty, ninety. I will write it in a proper manner. See you. This one part and this one part. I will write it here down. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five is the midpoint as it is. As it is, you should write forty-five, fifty. The second subarray answer C. Forty-five, fifty, eighty, and ninety. Can you see the answer? Yes. So what has become thirty-five yes. is the mid element. 
see the array is sorted or no can anyone tell the array is array sorted or no sorted yes uh, sorted. what we have done here we have divided the problem into two halves and we got the midpoint hey. 35 and what we have done we have divided the problem into two halves and we got the we, we find the solution for two sub arrays and we conquer them then we means we combine them together means this, this will be the final output that is 15 25 sorry 15 20 25 35 45 50 80 90 you now what has happened here so we can see at last it is sorted now this is we can say it is it to be a normal case or the average case because after the first pass we got the pivot element in the middle exactly in the middle are you getting it are you getting my point after the first pass means first pass means what we have scanned the entire array that's we call the first pass are uh, are you agree with this uh, at at the first pass we have scanned the entire array can i get the answer yes or no yes hello yes. are you getting my point yes uh, in the first pass we have scanned the entire array no yes no now what we what we are trying to do is this this will be the normal case why i am saying this is this, this to be a normal case means in time co complexity we have three cases that is best case average case and worst case worst case means uh, it will uh, means it, we can say it is a big go of n sir has already taught us yes means we can say it to be a best case or average case because after the first pass the pivot element has arrived into a mid position of the entire array now what we have done we have taken two parts of that means sub arrays we find the solution of sub arrays like the same one and we conquer them this what happened because the pivot element is sitting at the exactly in the middle after the first pass so we have said it to be a average case or a best case now we can say the recurrence relation anyone can anyone can tell what is recurrence relation can anyone tell what is recurrence relation okay now what it will what will be the recurrence equation i will write it it will be a recurrence equation now what it will be we have a n array we have divided it into a two half that is n by 2 and n by 2 minus 1 you can ask that why it is minus 1 because at the mid point we will get we got the 36th element right are you agree with, with this yes yes okay. okay now n is for the scanning and wait i will tell you the equation what will be the equation uh, t of n is equal to t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2 plus n t of n by 2 is for dividing 2 into 2 halves t of n by 2 is dividing into 2 halves are you getting t of n by 2 this one And t of n by 2, this one means this plus n. Why? Because to scan this entire array, are you getting how many elements are in, are there in this uh, array? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight elements. That is n elements, right? So we have taken uh, n because to scan this entire array, to scan this entire array. Uh, we have to take we have to write the n element here it means what will be the recurrence equation that is recurrence relation is that t of n is equal to t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2 for dividing into two halves and for scanning the entire array we have taken this n are you getting 
everyone yes, yes. no you, if you have any queries or uh, you have problems or the questions you can ask now i have used this use this sketch pen because in pen uh, it it will be not that visible so i have used this sketch pen is there any problem with this problem or a tracing part or a working of this algorithm how it works no if anyone have any query they can ask anyone have you understood yes okay thank you everyone a very Sir? good explanation shraddha and varda in detail uh, you took an example and in detail we explained it traced it very well and i would say that you have made my job easy now so I